Hi everyone, welcome to my vlog. How are y'all doing today? If you're new here, my name is Blue Phoenix. I make plant videos uh, for my found knowledge and I also share this uh, plant vlog on Wednesdays of my daily life. And then also what I do as a uh, small business owner at, of Blue Lotus Gardens. So if y'all um, like that and are interested in uh, following my little adventure, I recommend subscribing to my channel and seeing what all I do. I link everything down below, so if y'all are interested, just go ahead and check that out. But if not, stay tuned and we can just watch the video. Okay, so um, today I am trying to get all these plants organized. I have, been do I have purges going on so that way I can like move the plants um, because um, I don't want to move a lot of plants with me to the new to the new place so it uh, so i'm trying to reduce them and i hope they go to i'm going I, i'm and so that they they go to a new a good home as well um let me show y'all so this is what i'm doing i'm trying to like clean up everything over here my little uh stand is outside so i'm gonna place some plants over there if you watch Plant Care Tuesday, we talked about Hoyas. I'm adding a lot of new Hoyas to my site, so I want everybody to uh, know how to um, grow them as well. So that way, because I've, I've, I've been growing them and they're doing pretty well, and so now I can help y'all out if y'all need any questions or have any questions about it. Look at this fiddle leaf fig. I grew this out from one of my propagations from an early video. Y'all probably saw that. I have all these over here. Look at this new leaf. Like, how do you not like an aglonema? So easy. Um, and then this is the Hoya that I showed y'all. This one I'm keeping. I'm not going to sell. This is mine. <laughs> but, um, oh, a a quick tip on Hoya care if you want to if you want if your Hoyas are slow growing um, use a slow release fertilizer uh, when you repot it a 10 10 10 is, is great and um, it will put out a lot of new growth as you see here this is what um, what it does I do keep this in a uh, near my grow lights but it still does well around without them so, so y'all know, I had to re-rescue my pitcher plant. The pitcher started to die and I was like, oh no, there's one growing again. That's my taco night propagation came from this. Look how nice that blue sheen looks. Just really good. Here's all the plants that I put aside so that I could purge and help out. My poor little corn plant, I overwatered it. Oh my god. See? <laughs> I'm not the best, but I make mistakes. And this one has a new growth, so I'm excited and I'm also scared because I'm like, how am I going to transport this <laughs> to my new home? Okay, we'll figure it out. And then that one I decided to sell. So let's hope that helps. So like all these little purges are for um, upcoming bills that I have to pay for uh, the plant shop. And then um, also a new greenhouse that I'm going to invest in, a temporary one for the 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 plant shop when I move over there I am going to be looking for um, hopefully uh, like a hoop greenhouse for like my budget that I'm going to be spending for it for a temporary one that could be maybe hopefully just stay as a permanent one but um, if not you know I'll just find one off of Facebook um, that's like the green ones and stuff and do that because I want to really expand my uh, catalog, my local catalog. Um, 
and I really appreciate you all um, supporting me in my shipping catalog. Uh, and you know, I'm always available if you have any, need any help with any of that. Um, but yeah. I'm going to show you, oh, I think I can show you all my uh, begonias with this video. So here's one, look how they're growing. So I have it in this glazed um, pot and then as you see here, I have it with um, faux uh, sheet moss. It helps retain the moisture, but underneath, if you look underneath, it's like, that's how you know if it needs to be watered or not. And it's pretty dry, so I'll have to water that soon. But it looks really nice. And I had to move this guy over here. And that's the baby of the Alocasia. Some more. Look at the watermelon peperomia. This is my first time doing a leaf propagation of a watermelon peperomia and it's working. And look at my little string of turtles. Oh my God, they're growing so much. I'm excited. I gotta go get some pest control and spray the whole place over here. Um, some propagations that I have. These are going to a lucky winner. I'm also um, working on some, a little bit more things uh, to give out for that. So just stay tuned for that as well. I'm just so proud of this one. I'm letting it grow so that way I can make more propagations from that. I'm excited. And then there's the Raphidophora propagation. I think I made like four of them but yeah so excited okay so this is my little setup i have more usually here oh no this one fell uh. okay <laughs> no Whew. they almost fell <laughs> So here's my little setup. Ooh, it's really windy. So down there I have uh, just some things that I uh, have on sale or propagating or, you know, can take with pot. These are like on the right are like freebies, like garden freebies, and then on the left, some pathos. Oh, this is a uh, rescued This is a res oh. This is a rescued uh, pitcher plant. Over here I have some little plants. I have a Hoya, an Ivy, Dracaena, herbs. Super simple, super easy. This is my little like fairy angel garden. I just put like begonias here and uh, I have a little angel here. It's like my little protection, you know? My favorite little plants. I have an Ivy right here. Um, there is a little fern in here, pastas, the little white begonias right in here, they're super adorable, but yeah. Let's check out the little propagations that I have. They look w like they're doing really well. New growth and all. Look at this one. Little floppy guy. 
Look at that little new growth. It's so cute. Good morning everyone. Welcome to my vlog. How are y'all doing? So I made some very amazing food. Let me show y'all. Made some homestyle eggs with ham, honey ham, and some homemade pancakes. I can cook. <laughs> and then some log cabin syrup and my little coffee cup oh look motivational day how about this this is, used to be my old phone and now i have a new one Okay, so I arrived at my client's house, and I'm going to show y'all um, the plants and how they're doing. I don't think one of them survived because they were gone for a while. This is a little sad one, but I'll fix it up for them. Here is the elephant ear. It's growing, doing well. Just needs to get watered. Here's the caladiums. The little agave, the other caladiums are doing pretty well. I think this one just has a little bit of some pest, so I'll clean that up for them. Here's the other caladiums, they're doing really nice. Uh, they put this little border around them, so that's adorable. Here's the Persian shield I placed for them a while back. I think it just needs to be uh, watered. Some that I brought. This one over here. Just need to trim this up a little bit. I think that's should be fine. Here is the lemon tree. And then this is like a little rose bush that I planted for them. It's called Texas Rose. That's growing. Place some cacti and it's growing also doing really well there just planted this one and these two popped out here's these over here that's cool and then some purple fountain grass and some chilies
<laughs> so I'm recording right now, but like, I want y'all to see. Here is uh, some some stuff I'm already working on. This is the horsetail. Here's the other horsetail, from what y'all can see. And I'm about to plant the bamboo. <laughs>
So here is the end. Bye, kitty. There's one bamboo. So if y'all know, um, your care guide for how to, after you plant a bamboo, you need to um, keep it very well watered. So I would recommend um, going out and maybe doing like a top soil on top of it, like mulching it with, uh, and then watering it, keeping it very hydrated for at least like the first two weeks, get it very well established. And then you have your, um, the horse tail right here and here, which will uh, spread out about four to six inches in diameter. They'll be up to like four feet in height. Um, and then there's the other bamboo as well. Super exciting. I had a little bit of shipping damage, but that's okay. Um, it will grow better. So before I started doing houseplants, I used to work at little stores like this. And I want to share with you all, all my little um, area that I used to work at. I'm gonna show you another place that I used to uh, work at. I was a little wine bar. I know my wine knowledge, so get with it. Sober and still knowing my wine knowledge, yes. Ma'am, God. <laughs> but it's changed up, so I'm gonna show y'all. I guess it's gonna be like retail or something like that. I just. So I'm just gonna go check out these places and share it with y'all. Maybe say hi. I don't know if they want to be on camera. <laughs> so this could be the new Blue Lotus Gardens. You never know. <laughs> so I used to work not here, but down there. Let's say hi. Thank you all so much for subscribing to my channel. Um, also supporting my small business, uh, Blue Lotus Gardens, my plant shop. Um, I really am appreciative of y'all. I am so honored to be doing this to, for to be doing this and being able to share my experience with you all. Uh, thank you again. Um, subscribe if you like uh, the videos that I put out and like and comment. Let me know how you feel about it. I'm working on um, making better content, so I just. I'm just kind of having fun with it, so thank you all, and I'm glad y'all are enjoying it. All the links are down below that y'all, if, if y'all want to support or need any help with anything. Bye everyone!